in this space for a long time. I knew that the problem we were solving is one that a lot of companies had. And so I was able to leverage my personal network and my professional network in order to get people to try us out. We're very focused on serving the four and a half million companies in the U.S. that run QuickBooks. We want to make sure that their expense reports are just perfect. Our target customers are universities, schools, uh, and teachers, um, depending on you know, the model that they go down. And we got our first customers really through uh, mostly you know, organic uh, marketing and kind of word of mouth. Our customers are both merchants and uh, everyday shoppers. So how we got our first merchants uh, was as simple as dialing, trying to find managers, walking into stores, showing them the app that we built. The reason we were able to secure our very first advertiser was because we filled this void in the market for this 24 to 40 year old city-centric cosmopolitan woman. So in terms of acquiring customers, I'm a big fan of guerrilla marketing tactics, particularly when you're in your grassroots marketing phase where pretty much anyone that will talk to you is a potential customer. Uh, I'm a big fan of finding out where they are and, and chasing them down. So the Sitter City, I fired over 600 dorms to get the first 600 sitters and I, I, I talked to every parent I babysat for and chased moms down in supermarkets. With Contact Karma, uh, frankly, I'm finding a lot of my customers here in 1871. The way we found our first customer and all of the rest of our customers is our network. Um, initially, I went to my, my friends who were all at you know great business schools, HBS, Stanford Business School, Booth, Kellogg. Our target customers in the beginning and our go-to-market strategy centers around um, brand professionals at major grocery manufacturing companies, um, so consumer insights researchers and senior brand managers. Um, the way that we've primarily connected to those folks is through our own network. Um, fortunately, there's a ton of CPG manufacturing that happens in Chicago. The way we went after and what we collected on our customers was, first of all, who were the influencers in the market. That was the most important thing for us, is to capture the influencers, because we knew that there was a group right behind those influencers that were all trying to be the influencers, so if we could get that top group, we knew this group would go, and then that sort of helped us seed the network so that we could get the rest of, you know. Cause it's here that I got to stay.